Okay, I'm going to put a circle on the screen here. I'm just going to make this one six inches in diameter. And rather than offset this, just because the offset adds some complexity uh, to the shape, I'm going to copy this and just paste it over here as an example and make this a quarter of an inch larger. I'm going to select both of these shapes and center them together. And they're both selected here. I'm going to right click on these and convert them to a path. Once I convert them to a path, let me just show you here that you can see um, how the shape is built in its path and its lines. And you can see those points here. So with light burn, what I can do here is take the pencil tool and as I hover over the shapes, you see here where it can snap but watch it turn to the circle, and that means it's going to snap into the point. I'm going to draw a line from here to here to that point, and I'm going to escape. Same up here to here and escape. Here to here, escape. Here to here and escape. Now that I've got that, I'm going to select everything here. Then I'm going to go to Arrange and break this apart. And by doing that, I can now take these two pieces. I'm going to pull them apart so you can see that. These two here and let me put that back here and I can take these and move those here. Take these and you can see that there and then take this one here move it here and now I can just once again take my pencil tool here, here escape here and here escape all right and if I want to join these together I'm going to just select all of that and then do an alt J select all of this alt J select this alt J select this alt J and there's your broken circle. Uh, in order to confirm this, what I can do is I'll select uh, these two here and let me just align the tops and those are already aligned. So I'll take this and this and I will we'll arrange and I will then um, move together horizontally like that. I'll select this and this, arrange, move together horizontally let me just go ahead and, for the sake of this here, group these and group these. And then I will align these to the right. And then here I will do move vertically together. And you can see there's your circle.